I'd like to share with you the timeline of the progress of this journey. My onset was probably in 1999. That was when I had uh, multiple um, interactions with an antibiotic. In 2005, I had my trigger, which was a fall while working down in the Caribbean. In 6, 2006, I saw the hand surgeon to find out whether or not I had broken a bone or needed carpal tunnel, and that was when I was discovered to have peripheral neuropathy. About a year or two later, um, after increases of gabapentin only, I could not tolerate the pain and the discomfort, and I ultimately began to see a pain management doctor. So, ostensibly, from 2006-7 all the way to 2014, I was on uh, medications and under a doctor's care for my diagnosis of peripheral polyneuropathy. I couldn't keep this amazing uh, recovery to myself. It was 2014 that I did the research and played with my uh, own body to see what worked, what didn't work, how much of this, how much of that. And I, I couldn't just take my excitement and my recovery and keep it to myself. So in the fall of 2015, I created a support group on Facebook called Solutions to Peripheral Neuropathy, Pain and Discomfort. This is March of 2021. We have about just under 11,000 members. The Facebook support group has within it about 240 live videos where I lecture on dealing with adjusting to the lifestyle on the protocol, I deal with adjusting to living with peripheral neuropathy and how to recognize what your new normal is going to be like. Neuropathy is not curable. If you stop supplementing, your symptoms will return. I can't stress that enough. One of the questions you'll see in the frequently asked questions section of the website which is a great model for information if you are anti-social media, is how long do I have to be on the protocol? The answer is, as long as you feel you need to. Everyone's different. If your symptoms are returning, get back on it. I know that as the guinea pig of the house, I tested that out for myself. And when I cut back by 50%, my symptoms returned by about 75%. So for me, there's no cutting back. But I'll tell you what's great. What's great is the side effects of your cellular health being at its optimum level is better health. I have recovered from congestive heart failure as a result of 22 years ago having uh, bypass surgery and then three years ago needing to have three stents put in and um, having congestive heart failure as a result of my bypasses wearing out. In less than a year's time, my ejection fraction, which is how they measure the quality of the heart muscle's ability to pump, went from a, you almost need a pacemaker level at around 28 or 29, to near the very high 50s, normal area. My cardiologist credits the combination of vitamins and minerals in the protocol to my fast recovery. We have a number of members in the group equally who have had similar um, stories to share from their cardiologists and from their recovery. We've had some amazing things occur with people who have had uh, renal failure and people who have had the precursor to multiple myeloma. This is not to tell you that this is a cure for anything. This is to tell you that 
your body's own natural ability to heal is enhanced by the nutritional support of therapeutic vitamins and minerals of a specific group given at a particular period of time and this side effect of better health is just an incredible incredible extra it's a freebie anytime before the protocol that I wanted to go and take my dog out for a walk I could go about a block if I decided to take a vacation and go to Disney I needed to get uh, over to the um, wheelchair rental area and get a motorized cart to move around after the protocol going on a vacation I was able to put in 14,000 steps walking eight miles without a problem sure I overdid it sure the following day I paid for it but not only did I make it I made new memories I enjoyed myself doing it you learn about what your recovery means when things that you took for granted were now yours again to take for granted again and that's what quality of life means normalcy again there is no cure for this condition but your symptoms can roll back to such tolerable levels and other improvements in your health can occur if you only make the decision to take control of your own care plan these are vitamins and minerals that when given to the list given to a physician every physician who has reported on it there are some people doctors that just don't believe in supplementing well that's fine that's time to tell the doctor I'm sorry did you have to take anatomy and physiology courses in college in order to get your degree did you forget that the human body is made up of vitamins and minerals and requires what you give it in vitamins and minerals to function properly you'll find those but when you have the recovery and you're able to demonstrate back to this medical professional that what you have been doing has returned you your life he becomes a believer when you show him the printout of everything they will all commonly say there's nothing in here that can hurt you if they have courage and they truly are in it for the people they're gonna tell you to do it because you have nothing to lose and I'm here to tell you you have everything to gain best of outcomes to you some people say good luck I don't this is not about luck like I said before you're a houseplant you need water you need nutrition you need sunlight and you need to get up off your butt and make the choice to take control again of your own care plan